Well, good morning. Uh, thank you very much for uh, coming uh, to uh, to where Broadview Public School is located in my community. I'm very happy to be joined with uh, Mark uh, Fisher, who is the school board trustee with the Ottawa Carlton District uh, School Board. I want to a little bit talk about our schools and what they mean uh, to our community. As we know, they are uh, places to learn uh, for our uh, children, but they're also a place where communities come together. If you look at the activities that take place in our, in our schools, it's incredible to see the community vibe and, and uh, activities. Really happy to be here, uh, here at Broadview Public School, another incredible community hub in, in uh, Westboro. Uh, a school that really highlights uh, some uh, the the needs for more redevelopment of our schools in the downtown uh, core in our urban part uh, of the city. As we know, Broadview was built in 1926. Uh, it is definitely showing its age. I'm very proud to have worked with the parents um, with the school community, the, the teachers, to secure funding to rebuild uh, Broadview uh, uh, schools so that our kids have good places to learn and the community have a better place to get together uh, uh, as well. And that is why our party over the last 10 years have been investing uh, in our schools, building new schools here in, in Ottawa, building additions, uh, renovating uh, schools uh, uh, as, as well. And in the budget uh, that we put forward, uh, we have uh, allocated $11 billion over the 10 years to build, renovate uh, schools in Ottawa and across uh, the province. One of the other issues that uh, I have seen in my uh, community here in Ottawa Centre is the level of development that is uh, going on. As a result, more and more families with children are moving, that's putting pressure uh, on our schools. There are uh, businesses that are coming in, which is very uh, exciting uh, as well. So we need to take uh, steps to ensure that our schools in the downtown core uh, have the capacity uh, to uh, to take all that uh, that development and one of those uh, tools is the education development charge uh, which is at the school board's disposal uh, at the moment the way the rules are the education development charge can only be used to purchase land uh, uh, to build a school uh, but that's the the only way the, that money can be used which is rather difficult when you, you look at a downtown community. One, because uh, the land is uh, too expensive uh, to purchase if it's available. And second, there's not a lot of land to go about uh, as well. I've been hearing from our trustees, uh, from our, our school boards, uh, that we need to expand uh, the scope of education development charge. So today I, I want to uh, a little bit talk about that, that if uh, re-elected, uh, I will work with uh, our trustees, our school boards and the Ministry of Education to expand the education development charge so that they can be used for rebuild or renovate a school so that our kids have uh, good places to, to learn. Uh, this will allow school boards to have more flexibility as to how they use uh, that money uh, to be able to use those dollars to rebuild and renovate uh, uh, schools as well. And it just gives us more opportunity to be able to invest uh, in, in our schools to make sure that we are creating good places to learn for our children and of course an opportunity for community to gather in our schools and build healthy and vibrant communities uh, as well.